Hi, I'm Kevin Klein, City Councilor for Charleswood, Tuxedo Westwood, and Chair of the Winnipeg Police Board. I want to invite you inside City Hall for a moment. The last few days I have heard uh, on radio stations and I'm seeing in other forms of media, other platforms, television, newspapers, the talk about garbage collection at uh, multifamily residences. This is not a new issue. And I want you to be aware of what's really going on because this will give you an idea of the dysfunction at City Hall. First and foremost, I think that this entire plan was just a, a, um, a clever play to make people want to pay more taxes or to take away the hurt of paying a higher property tax. Or maybe we're trying to get some money back into the city because it's moved to areas it wasn't supposed to and we're a little short. I don't know for sure because we can't get the answers we're looking for. We certainly can't see inside the financials. So let's talk about the condo garbage. This came up before the new year and uh, it came to the Water and Waste Committee and I sit on the Water and Waste Committee and I voted no. I, they, they brought this as the suggestions and the vote to the Standing Policy Committee was, do you agree that these should go forward to uh, EPC? I voted no, because you can't create two different <laughs> levels of uh, taxpayers. It's like, it's like you were segregating taxpayers. The committee voted for it. It went through three to one. I was the one that said no. And, and you know, and, and I know there's been a lot of talk since then. So I want to show you this video, in this video, if you can do that, um, of how the vote went down. So take a look. I haven't been shy about this, and I know that uh, some of the ideas I've put forward, everyone's wanted to come back and tell me it's online or it's here, it's there, and that's all great. Or we've been doing that. Uh, I, I guess it just shows the lack of communication that we have. Um, and fair enough that you want uh, others to do it, but if you're working as a team, you wouldn't be doing that. Um, that just seems unreasonable and, uh, well, silly. Um, I think that the cuts that were put forward, I don't blame the uh, department, the staff. Uh, I, you know, I saw what was given to them um, uh, as directions, and then they uh, basically followed the direction. I think the, uh, the services that we cut are unreasonable. I do believe that it was, uh, um, you know, that this was part of a, a greater objective. Uh, if we have to raise taxes, I think people are happy to pay a tax increase. They want to know what the value is. They want to know what they're getting. They don't want to be told they're going to lose something to pay more. Um, another example is picking two grants, just two grants specifically, and saying those two are going to, are going to have to be cut, as opposed to taking a reasonable approach and looking at a, a cut uh, through every grant or finding a, finding a way to make that uh, more palatable for, for everybody involved, as opposed to saying, well, you two are singled out, you're, you're done. Um, it's difficult. Uh, I've gotten the responses back uh, from our CAO, uh, as uh, you know, with the questions that I asked, uh, and, and, and not, those responses were none. Um, I'm not comfortable at all, and I will not um, suggest or vote on anything that has anything to do with this budget, when we haven't looked at revenues, uh, when we haven't had an opportunity to, uh, to spend more time on it. I just heard that this was a year-long process and we have three weeks or two weeks. Um, three meetings, bang, 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 all in a couple of weeks. So I'm not comfortable with that. And, and, and again, I, I understand we have a budget working committee that, uh, that is ha selected and, and they do that thing, but it's I'm not comfortable with that process. Uh, it has nothing to do with the people that sit there. I'm not comfortable with that process, nor do I think it's benefiting this city in any way, shape, or form. Um, and I don't see anything in our process or this budget that you want us to vote on or proposal, if you will, uh, that has vision. I, I see no future here other than we've told a bunch of departments, tighten your belt and we'll see if we can get through this. Um, and that's not the right way to build this back up. So uh, thank you for letting me say that. Um, the detail is lacking. The, the process is, uh, is quite amateur, quite frankly, very amateur. And I can't support uh, any of the uh, recommendations. All right, so though there's a motion, all those in favor? 
Aye. 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 All opposed? Opposed, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, motion carried. Those are the facts. That's how the vote went down. The reality is now you have people saying, well, no, I don't support that. No, it's not something we should do. But you did. So, and these are some of the people that are inside the circle. So that means, or Claire says to me, that this is one of those things that was used to engineer responses to a rate increase or to engineer responses to the water rate increase that happened. Oddly enough, at that meeting, we didn't know how much they were going to raise your water and waste rates. So we had no idea that that was part of their plan. We had no idea there was going to be a pilot project um, that now all of a sudden the city is saying they don't, uh, they recommend a council doesn't go through because it would cost us too much money. My question is, why then do we have a signed letter, and I have a copy of it that I'm going to put up online, <laughs> saying that we will do it, um, that it was part of a grievance, and we agreed to do this. Um, there's also a clip where, I mean, I've showed it in a video before, <laughs> where uh, they already, they admitted to buying more garbage trucks. But then, of course, they say, no, well, we didn't buy more garbage trucks. And then another report comes out and said, well, we only bought four garbage trucks. Is it any wonder the public trust in government has eroded? It's not eroding, it's eroded. We need to build that public trust back. Hold people accountable, please. Hold me accountable. Hold everybody accountable. This is your money and it shouldn't be played with like this. It shouldn't be used and we shouldn't be using tactics to politically achieve what we want to achieve but still save face. Let's run the city properly. It's being mismanaged. We need to manage it properly so that you have faith in us.